Hi, Shubhangi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we have uh, Mr. Aviji Chauhan with us, who is the director of one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in India, Opsurge Biotech. And uh, today we are talking about one of the most burning issues of recent times, mental health crisis globally. Every four out of 10 uh, adults have claimed to have some sort of anxiety and depression. And people believe like within a few years, 90% of the global population will suffer uh, from these conditions. So what do you think uh, about it? Uh, so Shabhang, you raised a very good and very prevalent uh, point because anxiety and depression, you know, not only internationally, but if, even if we see with the changing lifestyles, people in India, as you said, 90%, that's a very remarkable figure because one of the articles suggested it. And I think during the course of our lives, the sort of lifestyle we are having, you know, we are leading and the sort of change or transition we are going through as a society, uh, somewhere or the other during our life cycle, it is not very impossible thing that, you know, you and I or anyone else could not suffer from anxiety and depression. Uh, having said that, if we talk about it, the reasons could be plenty. So there is anxiety and depression because of some tragic incident that may happen with you. You know, it may be because of you have some aspirations in your career or in your personal life. If they don't get fulfilled, you might feel anxiety and depression. Or there might be a, so for example, we had a pandemic a couple of years back. Because of the total overall scenario change and, you know, coping up with so many new things, many people went through anxiety and depression. Fear of their life was one of the reasons. The change in, you know, people who were not tech savvy, they felt that they cannot do so many things. So they felt anxiety and, you know, they fell into depression. Uh, but another reason for anxiety and depression, apart from all of these, which most of the times gets neglected, is anxiety and depression due to any chronic medical illness. So a patient suffering from, you know, a chronic medical illness, that's also a very big uh, place where people suffering from anxiety and depression are often those who are diagnosed with some other chronic medical illness. Right. Yes, it is a very burning topic. Absolutely, I agree. Because recently one of my friends was a scholar in school and college. Both he met with an accident, which was like life altering. He could not move yeah. his body uh, from the lower half. So he uh, has been diagnosed with a lot with depression like recently. And, the, and his parents are not ready to accept the fact. Because he mm -hmm. had something which was which left him for the rest of his yeah. life bedridden it made him like in that condition he fell into that condition but the people around are not ready to accept so what do you think that in a case of a chronic medical illness where people have this tendency to feel that the person will be able to take their mental health in their own hands and would not look out or this social stigma which we have around that you'll be able to figure it out on your own what do you think mm -hmm. about it how do we deal with it especially uh, in a place where we live like india yeah so it's important you mention especially the place where we live in a country like india because uh, if we go historically, we've been a society which has not been very open to certain things. Like we are changing as a society overall now, but still mental health is one of the, you know, very big parameters around which people, if we talk about mental health, so straight away a person living in a city or a town or, you know, even a village, everyone has a same stigma that nahi nahi, mera bachcha paagal nahi hai, mere parents paagal nahi hai. Because mental health, they compare it directly to being pagal owner, which is not the fact, you know, you mentioned about your friend who had gone through a very tragic accident and it has altered his life in multiple ways. So that person is going through anxiety and depression or they, he might be going through anxiety and depression because of certain trauma. It does not make him mentally sick. He's not pagal, but he is having a mix of an emotions, you know, which have you know his career his personal life they have taken a toll because of it so just keep thinking about those things he's going through some mental issues which is not necessarily you know pagalpan so the stigma around the society which we have even though we've progressed we've become you know one of the superpowers in the world today uh under the current government you know so many things have happened so many uh, uh 
transitions are taking place as a society we've started accepting so many things you started accepting the newer culture or the hybrid culture but regarding the mental aspect our society is still way they say bolte hain it's still not very open it's a lot of things which need to be done right that. right right since you touched uh, based on this point that uh, our society is not open there's also a set rhetoric in the society ki agar koi successful hai तो उसको मेंटल हेल्थ इश्यूज नहीं होंगे विच इज वेरी मच इन डेंट एक्चुअली इट्स द ऑपोजिट साइड बिकॉज पीपल ऑल्सो सफर फ्रॉम सक्सेस दैट इज अ थिंग इन फैक्ट रिसेंटली आई एम लाइक टेकिंग थेरेपी एंड आई एम लाइक वेरी ओपन अबाउट इट देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग अबाउट इट वेन यू डू सर्टन थिंग्स क्वाइट क्विकली इन योर लाइफ यू जस्ट एस अ लैडर क्वाइट क्विकली यू ऑल्सो गेट ओवर वेल and it's fine it's just like exercising for your body so what do you think about this uh, that you know this issue where people feel that uh, having these services is only for a rich segment of people or only somebody who is very much in pain and not for normal people why do we do not take this as a regular mental uh, check up or like a regular body check up yeah i mean we should uh, ideally we should because as i said ki ek to we are talking about you know instances where the career or some other thing is affected or you are getting affected so for example there was a case uh, during the pandemic one of the actors sushant singh rajput after his uh, thing we realized that he was also undergoing the treatment but it was for certain reasons that he was going through anxiety and depression but generally as i said the reasons for anxiety and depression shubhangi could be many right now when you say about regular checkups if you look at the entire indian health setup i told you i mentioned that a lot of anxiety and depression is also associated with chronic medical illness so when we talk about chronic medical illness it could be you know a regular uh, person male or a female going to office every day very satisfied with their life uh, having kids having everything in order and you know nothing aspirational that is getting killed or which is affecting them but they are just suffering from uh, diabetes or hypertension or you know certain other chronic medical illness like osteoarthritis so even those people if we talk about at a certain point of time because they have to maintain their routine in a certain way they have to they have a checklist given to them of do's and don'ts in a certain way and as a human being as a human being being disciplined does not come to us naturally right it's not an instinct it's not uh, what we are born to do so when a, even when a kid is born he likes to explore so we cannot live in a certain way throughout our lives so that's why i mentioned a very important point of you know anxiety yeah. and depression in a broader aspect especially it affects person who is suffering from personal or professional or you know any physical health issues but also a lot of people when i talk to you know our doctors around us i speak to a lot of doctors and they come around and tell us share their experience that uh, a lot of people suffering from anxiety uh, from chronic medical illnesses behave in a certain way so you know that is in a way linked to chronic medical illness why because their lifestyle has been hampered and the people around them the family around them the kids around them they want to you know they want to tell them to live in a certain way the doctors tell them to you know when they visit a doctor in a month or 45 days or 60 days for a routine check up and doctors will you know have a look at the report and say no no you are doing this right you are doing this wrong and you need to rectify these points so as i said uh, as a patient sometimes they feel that oh you know what why am i leading this sort of a life why i can't do this why i can't do that or at times they will feel that okay i am doing this i am taking my medications also on time but you know i'm not i'm not li- living a very healthy life or i'm not able to enjoy the things that which i used to or the things which i want to do so us wajah se bhi shubhangi a lot of people you know uh, at times they will sit with their family are nahi hai doctor acha nahi hai because yeah. the doctor is telling them certain things right. and i have seen it uh, close within the family also within the family also i've seen this thing happening ki kai baar par wo bolte nahi yaar ye doctor ki you know dawai achhi nahi hai so because i belong to the healthcare industry so i interact a lot with the doctors and at times you know i interact with the extended family and so i get the viewpoints of both of them so i can connect from the patient's point of view as well they think nahi ye doctor ki dawai achhi nahi thi what happens is aapne 
आपको शुगर है आपको हाई डायबिटीज है आपने चार दिन वो नहीं खाई मिठाई नहीं खाई आपने वीक डेज पे कुछ नहीं किया आपने दवाई भी ली उसके बाद आपने कोई फंक्शन आ गया कुछ आ गया या आपको मन किया बारिश हो गई तो आपने पकौड़े के साथ बाकी सब चीजें खा ली और हफ्ते बाद आपने जब रिपोर्ट कराई तो ऑब्वियसली जो आपके लास्ट दो तीन दिन है दे ऑल्सो प्लेड अ रोल इन इट इन योर यू नो ब्लड शुगर लेवल्स और योर ऑस्टी अर्थराइटिस और एनीथिंग और आप कहे कि नहीं यार तो मेरी ब्लड शुगर तो आज भी ज्यादा है अब पेशेंट विल रिमेंबर इज लास्ट यू नो अर्लियर 10 डेज जब उसने वो किया लेकिन अगले 10 दिन जब उसने वो नहीं किया सो एज अ ह्यूमन साइकोलॉजी एज आई सेड वी आर नॉट वेरी सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन आई थिंक या yeah i think is me broadly it's like a person with a chronic medical illness ha- takes a lot of time to come par at par with the fact that you know we're not going to get a clean slate again like i have a slip disc so i'm never go- going to get that spine back which was like fine so it took me a year and a half and which was a very depressing phase of my life also to like come at par with that and like do yoga every day but once if i don't do yoga for a week i know the pain that i get into so yeah. i think similarly with the people and when it comes to eating habits it is much more difficult than than like managing your outer side of the body because eating like controlling your eating habits again in a country like india which is so full of delicacies is like a very tough job so since you touched this point around uh, you know this chronic medical illness i would also want to understand how does these both things connect like the psychological effect of it and the person having this sort of illness what is the background thing on this yeah so i'll tell you how so shubhanki i'll give you an example so as i mentioned and i know this for a fact uh, that couple of last couple of years i think during covid or before that you developed this problem of uh, you know slip disc right now you are in your young early 20s right if you hang around with your friends or you know at any wedding or any uh, social gathering or event there might be at times that you are feeling well because you are doing yoga every day you have taken the complete bed rest as advised by the doctor but at times it would have happened that you would have gone you know in a social gathering to enjoy or maybe dancing your way around madly and you felt something or maybe it is always subconsciously in your mind if i do this i don't want to get my uh, you know this thing back so for a lot of people what happens is like the people of your generation the younger generation they are open about a lot of things but when it comes to chronic medical illness in general i'm not restricting ourselves to you know uh, any one illness it could be diabetes it could be ibs also it could be hypertension also it could be uh, copd asthma people suffering from asthma so each one of them they have a longer sort of a treatment regime because ye cheeze aisi hai ki jinka sadly koi permanent ilaj nahi hai that is why they are called chronic medical illness right uh, they are basically irreversible to a large extent very sadly so jab ye ek lifestyle change hota hai so while we are growing up as uh, kids as an adult so we see things around us which influence us both in good ways and bad ways and we want to while we are growing up we want to explore that eating being one of those yeah you know if someone's movement is restricted and he is very social person to usko ekdam se aap bol do ki nahi ab aap nahi move kar sakte ya aapko hiking ka bahut shauk tha aapko osteoarthritis ho gaya ya aapko knee problem ho gayi you cannot climb the mountains anymore so all these people because the lifestyle changes one thing which affects a human being in more than one way aaj theek hai kisi ke paas broadly if we talk x amount of income hai every month अगर वो थोड़ी दस बीस परसेंट कम भी हो जाएगी तो फॉर अ ब्रॉडर यू नो सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू कॉज अज लाइफ स्टाइल चेंज बट कुछ क्रॉनिक मेडिकल इलनेस ऐसी हैं जो कि उसको आज आपको कोई हीटिंग हैबिट है तो आज नहीं बनी जब से आप पैदा हुए आपके उसमें फैमिली भी इन्वॉल्व थी आपका कल्चर भी इन्वॉल्व था आपके आसपास की सोसाइटी भी इन्वॉल्व थी आपको गोलगप्पे खाने बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं आपको टिक्की खानी बहुत अच्छी लगती है आपको छोले भटूरे खाने बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं Suddenly, if someone tells you कि नहीं अब ये सब बंद यू नो एंड जब क्या होता है हमारे साथ शुभांगी एक और चीज कि एज अन रेस जब हमें कोई चीज करने को मना कर दो ना तो ज्यादा स्पेशली स्पेशली इन इंडिया तो वो ज्यादा करते हैं जहां पे आप देखोगे दीवार पे लिखा होता है यहाँ पान थूकना मना है तो सबसे ज्यादा पान के थूक वही होंगे आपको पूरे इंडिया में 
सो क्या होता है कि जब कोई मना कर देता है इस चीज को या आपके ऊपर एक्सेप्शन आ जाती है तो यू ट्राई एंड फाइंड वेज अराउंड इट आप चीजें ढूंढते हो कि मैं कैसे कर लूँ फिर उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हो जाती है बिकॉज यू आर नॉट मेंटली एक्सेप्टिंग इट एंड आई मीन हैविंग सेट दैट एक बैलेंस करना इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग कि आपको अगर कोई चीज पसंद है तो बिल्कुल जीरो नहीं कर देना चाहिए डॉक्टर्स आल्सो टेल कि यू नो टेक रिड्यूस द कंजम्पशन ऑफ दिस थिंग और रिड्यूस द कंजम्पशन ऑफ दैट थिंग मॉडरेशन में मॉडरेशन से थोड़ा नीचे अगर आपको प्रॉब्लम है एंड इफ यू टेक योर मेडिसिंस एंड यू नो ऑल द अदर प्रिकॉशंस एज इट इज एडवाइज तो वो ठीक रहता है बट जनरली क्या होता है कि जैसे मैंने आपको बोला ये नहीं करना तो उसके बारे में आदमी ज्यादा सोचने लगता है और वही करना होता है सो टेक्स अ मेंटल टोल एंड आई मीन इट्स वेरी ऑब्वियस फॉर एनीवन टू फील दैट यू नो मेंटल टोल अराउंड इट कि क्यों नहीं करना उस टाइम पे फिर वो सही गलत नहीं सोचता वो उसकी इच्छाएं और उसकी जो मन के अंदर की चीजें हैं दे स्टार्ट ओवर पावरिंग की अच्छा ही विल यू नो माई किड्स डोंट लव मी मतलब एक बड़ी एक्सट्रीम चीज है लेकिन हो जाता है कि माई किड्स डोंट लव मी देट सी और वाइस ऑफ वर्स ऑल्सो यंगर पर्सन ही माइट फील दैट माई फैमिली डज नॉट लाइक मेरे को ये पसंद है इसलिए मेरे को नहीं खिला रहे अपने हिसाब से करते हैं और इट कुड भी कि यार ये डॉक्टर का डायग्नोसिस ठीक नहीं है दूसरे डॉक्टर के पास चलते हैं राइट right? या फिर ये हो जाता है कई बार वेरी सैड वेरी लोनली कि अच्छा अब तो मेरे को ये हो गया है अब मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ सो इट्स ऑटोमेटिक आई मीन यू नो ह्यूमन बिहेवियर दैट ड्राइव यू इन सर्टन वे वेन सर्टन एक्शन टेक्स प्लेस right right i think as as humans uh, the way we have evolved we have always been very output driven i don't think there's enough there's a single person on this planet who would do that i do something to like not get anything out of it that's not the case yeah. like yeah. broadly if we look at it so when there's a chronic medical illness the person knows that you know there's nothing i'm getting my way out of this issue so like why do i change my life because if at your 20s you want to do gymming you know that you'll look more attractive you'll catch more eyeballs or for whatever reason you want to do it but when going to the gym becomes a lifestyle thing that you're going to get nothing out of and you're just being able to control your chronic medical illness it doesn't sound that fancy because right. people yeah. have made it like that if you're going to the gym you really want to like become that uh, bodybuilder Allah slang. If you're going to a mental health specialist, either you we have gone mad or you're too rich <laughs> to like afford <laughs> therapy. So <laughs> these these things are. What do you think the role of stigma? Yeah, बहुत time है इनके पास. Right. तो बहुत time है इनके पास है. तो इनको और कुछ नहीं है life में करने को तो आह उसके पास से ले गए. Yeah, people don't treat brain as an organ. I think sometimes. <laughs> yeah, interestingly, Shubhangi, I'll tell you one thing. I was reading about this last night. So, अभी for the first time in the world. सो दिस एक्ट केम इन इंडिया मेंटल हेल्थ एक्ट एक आया है गवर्नमेंट ने यू नो देव टेकन दिस इनिशियटिव एंड आई थिंक इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन और ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस एक्ट केम इन बट देन बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो गॉट डिलेड अभी रिसेंटली मुंबई के अंदर एक हॉस्पिटल में फर्स्ट ब्रेन सर्जरी हुई है मीन्स टू ट्रीट डिप्रेशन सो वट हैपन्स इज वट वी वर टॉकिंग कि ये चीज़ें कैसे अफेक्ट करती हैं so it's you know all our body if you go into our actions it's all neurotransmitter transmission driven so when we suffer from something or when we you know it might be medical or it might be personal our brain starts reacting in a very different way altogether ki agar aap gym ja rahe ho to aap is wajah se ja rahe ho aapko kuch aisa ho gaya you know unforeseen circumstance ki aap wo nahi kar pa rahe ya nahi kar paoge apni life mein तो आपका ब्रेन बहुत डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन में उसको सोचने लगता है एंड व्हाई डज दैट हैपन दैट्स यू नो वो मुन्ना भाई अगर आपने देखी हो तो उसके दिमाग में केमिकल लोचा हो गया है सो दैट इज न्यूरो ट्रांसमिशन ड्रिवन राइट सो जनरली अभी तक साइकेट्रिस्ट के पास जाना या वो सब जाना इज एन वेरी एक्सट्रीम सिचुएशन की जैसे मैं बोला एक जिगमा भी है अराउंड एट की वो पागल हो गया है there are certain other uh, you know counseling ways and there are other uh, ways medical as well as non medical ways to treat this uh, neurotransmission or the chemical locha so called that options are available with the doctors today in india and around the world interestingly what i was telling you apart from you know i just deviated from our topic uh, kal abhi bombay mein first mental uh, operation hua hai to treat depression so two cheeze 
you know counseling se aur usse nahi theek ho pa rahi so our, our science and our health industry has evolved so much that wo chemical locha dimag ke andar depression ka operation hua hai pehli baar so that is very interesting i mean uh, i am looking forward to reading more on it and you know speak to few of the doctors there right, yeah. right. Yeah. people people believe that our thoughts are like completely intangible i think but i think they make the most of our reality if your brain is not functioning you can be absolutely useless to yourself and you can feel like to the worst like because this is true people feel this way they take extreme steps so i think mm-hmm. uh, i think it's like need of the hours we talk about it openly uh yeah. what do you think is the condition of the society we live in right now how can we improve uh, because the kids of like uh, you know gen z specifically uh, us all of who, like 2000 kids they have like understood like brain is an organ you treat it when you don't feel okay it's normal mm-hmm. but people before this like i was having a talk to my grandmother and she said like you're fine why do you need to see a therapist yeah. since she she's, she's yeah. a very wise lady but she mm-hmm. was not open to that idea so that's yeah. actually how do we like talk to our parents about it how do you think we should make this a dining table conversation it should be normal yeah so i think uh, shubhangi what you mentioned so our parents and our grandparents were one generation which were very you know extreme and have a lot of stigma around it i somewhere find myself in the middle and what you talked about just now about the you know gen z so kai bar initially i also thought yaar aajkal gen z matlab inko kuch nahi hota hai ye bol dete hain ki acha hame mental issue hai ye wo hai so that's how open it has become in that which i later on obviously realized that you know now they are talking sense if there is something so hum log ke mein kya tha ki ek mix tha of our dadis and grandmothers and aajkal ke jo overall hum log society mein dekh rahe hain but having said that what i feel is the more we are talking about it a lot of people have started talking about it यू नो अलॉट ऑफ जैसे मैंने आपको एक बात डॉक्टर के एक बताया कि क्रॉनिक मेडिकल इलनेस में क्या हो रहा है पेशेंट या तो यू नो बहुत ऑफ हो गया लाइफ से कि उसको कोई किसी चीज में इंटरेस्ट नहीं रहा वो बड़ा डीएक्टिवेट सा हो गया है उसको लगता है यार मैं क्यों हूँ एंड हैविंग यू नो द अदर एंड अराउंड ऑफ इट इज समीपल दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू दे बिकम सुसाइडल पैरा सुसाइडल और यू नो ओवर बोर्ड समीपल बिकम वेरी ओवर बोर्ड अबाउट इट but the more we are talking about it as a society you know by creating a general awareness ki yaar ye sab cheeze hoti hain it's part and parcel i mean it's nothing you can do about it so agar aapki body with age aapko osteoarthritis hota hai aapko you know certain problems hoti hain whether it is female or male both have certain problems which come into life with the age which you cannot do anything about i mean you can usko thoda cut down kar sakte ho damage ko but you cannot that's the way nature has made us right similarly if we talk about our brain it is chemical driven it is neurotransmission driven that's just the way nature has made it so usme agar kisi ko if someone is feeling anxious or someone is feeling depressed over a period of spam or over a period of time due to any reason in their life what is there to be ashamed of i mean the jaise koi aur problem hai the sooner you address it and you treat it the faster you get the result agar aapko koi starting mein kuch bhi problem hai if you you know take the medications on it most of the times uh with the treatment with the correct treatment you solve it jaise aapko slip disc hua so you you know went on bed rest you did yoga which was good for your back to be exercise uske andar yoga ke andar asan honge aapne wo kiye to you are leading a relatively better life as compared to if you would have just ignored it ki mere ko कुछ नहीं हुआ मेरे को यहाँ भी जाना है और मेरे को ये भी करना है सो यू माइट हैव बीन एन वेरी डिफरेंट एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट पोजीशन टुडे एब्सोल्युटली एंड आई आई वाज लाइक रिमाइंडेड ऑफ दिस वन थिंग लाइक क्रिकेट इन इंडिया इज अ रिलीजन सो इमेजिन व्हाट वैल्यू अ रिलीजन होल्ड्स इन इंडिया दैट पीपल रन टू मोर रिलीजियस प्लेसेस फॉर देयर मेंटल हेल्थ कंडीशंस देन टू मोर डॉक्टर्स सो आई वुड आल्सो वांट टू टच बेस ऑन दिस लाइक how do we navigate this where if people are feeling sad they would want to go to uh, with all due respect to these uh, you know places of high value that they hold religiously ignoring completely the scientific logic behind it how do you look at it yeah so shubhangi the way i look at it is you know when a person is feeling sad or person is feeling oh the things are not going my way going to a temple or a gurudwara or any other place 
for that mental peace and for that sanity is okay. I mean, that is also, you know, part of our nature. Ki se hi ek, whether be it any religion, we've been uh, taught certain things in certain ways. And driven certain things faith. evolve. Yeah, driven by faith. We are, as a society, we are driven by faith. And at times, going to places of, you know, these high values give you a mental peace. mental peace, inner peace for that time period. I don't deny that. But if a person is suffering and the underlying cause is, you know, something else, then that needs to be addressed as well, whether it is through, uh, you know, counseling, whether it's through uh, doctors, whether it's through medication or whether it's through some other activity. Whichever you know the healthcare professional feels is right for you. Because if your car is bad, you have to go to a mechanic. Ke paas hai. Similarly, if you are feeling any health challenges, you have to reach out to your healthcare practitioner who is expert in it. Yes, going to a temple, going to a mosque or going to a gurdwara does not hamper it. It is also a helping hand, but it is not the solution. Right? Which we are looking for. Especially when you are not selecting it on your own. If it is enforced by you know a prior generation onto you it will not work for yeah. sure because you know it's yeah. everything is uh, mentally inclined in fact i remember uh, you know this one time i was uh, in a lot of pain uh, due to this uh, slip disc thing i think it also somehow makes people around you a lot more stressful with you the person who is having a chronic illness whether it's diabetes or you know whatever for that matter people including your caregivers the support a group you have around you also has this mental strain so yeah. i think th those are also the people who are in the proximity of getting proper uh you know mental what do you what do you think about it? like see if you mention any chronic medical illness so whether it is you know kidney disease or heart disease or diabetes or anything apart from the mental toll they also suffer the consequences so for example if someone is having asthma and they are, you as a family are traveling to you know within the city or outside city so if that person is suffering he has some sort of you know attack uh, asthma attack or his bp or sugar suddenly you know goes up or down so i mean you don't feel the pain physically but mentally you as a family member or as a support uh, system you know, you also have to go through a lot of your decisions are also made in a certain way to, you know, Im minimize the impact of certain things. And you have to do a lot of planning, which you would otherwise not. So chronic medical illness is, you know, we talk about very lightly. But if we have a deep, if we have a look at the deep impact of a chronic medical illness, so you know, I'm talking as a family member, you know, but think about that if there is a problem, hai, how would that person feel? He would also be realizing that we are not going to be able to do this trip. We are not going to be able to do this trip. Because I can So, you know, the sort of guilt trip that person would also be having ki, it is because of my illness that these people are also not able to do things in a certain way. Or if it's a you know, couple or a family or whatever. So, chronic medical illness impacts in ways more than what we can think in a you know our day-to-day -day routine so chronic medical illness i just cannot even imagine you know a lot of lifestyle changes is one thing what he has to you know think and decide before making any decision a lot of factors sort of co-combine so if today that should be our healthy so a lot of things we don't have to think twice about thrice about if I have to go for a tour, I'll say, okay, I'll go to the house at 6 o'clock and I'll go to the house at 6 o'clock. But think about a person who's suffering from any of these chronic medical illness. Before planning this, you should also plan this. How much time should be meal time? If I have to eat the food at 6 o'clock, I should have to eat the food at 6 o'clock. You know, a lot of uh, additional uh, you know, points just sort of tend to add on to your daily routine and that's why it's called a lifestyle uh, problem yeah, yeah i think the lifestyle modification that happens for the person who has the illness also brings a lot of modification for the family around them 
so yeah, yeah that is one thing which which is difficult for everyone i think i was reading this book so how did i came out of that phase i read a very uh, good book i don't remember the name it was like i think curing back pain it was a brilliant book that i read and i understood how our stress is the biggest reason for making our muscles weak that you know puts more pressure on the spine and then you are more in pain so i stopped like uh, stressing over things and worked on my mindset like took therapy mm-hmm. and all to stay mm-hmm. like calm um and that was a place where i understood that this is a vicious uh, circle like cycle, yeah. you yeah you go into one thing if you're mentally ill you would have more impact on your body you have more impact on your body you are mentally ill and then it goes mm-hmm. on until and unless you stand in between the loop and actually manage your you know uh, mental health conditions exactly so this is what i was just mentioning uh, previously in our previous segment ki agar anxiety you know you talked about stress so agar kisi ko chronic medical illness hai thinking about it ki yaar mere ko to ye ho gaya ya main ye nahi kar sakta whether it is lifestyle or otherwise also so you start stressing about it so when you start stressing about it the body also release certain hormones you know which not only uh, loosen your uh, muscles or weaken your muscles but they also sort of tend to have an impact on your overall uh, uh, healing the natural healing which the body does because when you are stressed out when you are anxious when you get into anxiety because of certain things to wo aapka jo ek natural process hai body ka that is also you know affected so if you are thinking too much about things if you are anxious about something aapko anxiety hai तो आप देखोगे आपको कोई चोट लगी है दैट विल आल्सो टेक अ लॉन्गर टू रिकवर एज कंपेयर टू व्हेन यू आर मेंटली यू नो फिट दैट इज व्हाई दिस इज अ वेरी ओल्ड सेइंग कि इन पंजाबी सिंस आई कम फ्रॉम पंजाबी बैकग्राउंड कि मन चंगा तो सब चंगा सो दैट गोस बी आई आई मीन हम लोगों ने अपने कल्चर से और अपने यू नो हिस्ट्री से बहुत सारी चीजें तो ले ली लेकिन उसके अंदर भी डीपली इफ वी लुक देयर हैव बीन टॉक्स अबाउट मेंटल हेल्थ लाइक दिस फ्रेज मन चंगा तो सब चंगा is emphasizing necessarily the mental health of an individual okay mm, absolutely i think uh, like this is a loop and uh, i think there is also a difference in how we approach medical uh, you know health in terms of doctors when it comes to other body parts and when it comes to our brain in you know in terms of like visiting yeah. a normal doctor and then going for therapy i think that has to also change it's a long long way so how, mm-hmm. what do you think about how deep is this crisis and what are like the preventive steps since you are in the healthcare industry see shubhangi i think it's a very deep crisis in the making not in the making it's already out there now we are not aggressing accepting it, it. Uh, you know accepting it or addressing it overall as a society because there was a report of uh, who and back in the year i think 2010 or 2014 that by 2020 2020 india would be you know the second most or the first most affected country by uh, anxiety and depression because one thing is for sure a lot of data does not come out of china and we as a country are a number you know one population to a scale so a number of uh, persons so patient coming out some might say oh india to population hi 140 crore ka sabse zyada honge hamare ek city mein ek ek desh ke barabar population hai but having said that it's still quite a lot of number you know when we talk about in terms of number which is and these are the cases shubhangi which are getting registered with the you know some authority whether it is who or the government but if we look deep down you know there are people who are suffering from anxiety and depression due to multiple reasons financial reasons being one of them uh, society reasons being one of them uh, personal uh, relationship between you know two people being one of them aaj aap dekho if you look around you know people are getting uh, like people are ready to spend money to get into good medical colleges because they don't they want their uh, kid to become a doctor but he's not scored that much in need or you know those many reasons and then there is this chronic medical illness which we talked about and to you know in all fairness a lot of these things are under the carpet because the patient does not want to talk about it even to a doctor when he goes to a general practitioner although our general practitioners in india are under a lot of burden because usko hi sab cheeze treat karni hai because especially when it comes to medical uh, you know health he has to be the one to assess he has to be the one to 
you know, treat. Because if he finds out during his consultation with the patient while spending 5-10 minutes with the patient in his day, he is some health challenges bhi hai, ya he overthink kar raha hai, ya he has become too anxious, he's you know, being suffering from anxiety and depression. And imagine if a general practitioner in India tells a patient ki yaar aap is psychiatrist ke paas chale jau, ya aap is you know, uh, psycho uh, ye, uh, therapy ke liye chale jau, is doctor ke paas. You can very well imagine what the reply of that patient or his family members are going to be. They are going to be like, ये डॉक्टर पागल है साला ये हमें पागल नहीं भेज रहा है ये हमें साइकाइट्रिस्ट के पास भेज रहा है तो ये पागल है दैट इज व्हाट द जनरल यू नो थॉट प्रोसेस ऑफ पीपल इन इंडिया इज टू ऑलमोस्ट 95% ऑफ द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दैट्स अ थॉट प्रोसेस सो ही इज आल्सो अंडर द बर्डन दैट ही हैज टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट एस्पेक्ट एज़ वेल एंड सैल्यूट टू डॉक्टर्स इन इंडिया दे आर वेरी वेल कैपेबल बिकॉज़ हम लोग की जो एक सोसाइटी है ओवरऑल you know we are multi talented people so they are doing their best at it with you know multiple ways which they can but uh, having said that a lot needs to be done government has certainly you know taken a initiative they have addressed this issue by making the act around it so the mental health act of india is there where you know they have listed ki anxiety mein kya hai aur kya what should be the protocols but it's just a very small beginning a lot of details need to come out a lot of uh, uh, you know so i've been to i went to us few years ago before the pandemic and wahan pe one thing i which i noticed initially i thought it's a you know commercial game but later on i realized that the government there and the private players there they are talking about mental health openly so they are advertising about it what numbers you should call if you are feeling like this so a lot of health is available here the problem in india is that step is very far you know uh, ahead we cannot straight away jump first to our medical practitioners to our first line of therapy to our family doctors to the general practitioners we need to spread this awareness that if you are feeling any mental challenges or if you are feeling any you know sort of anxiety or depression for any reason medical or non medical you should be able to talk to them we need to create an atmosphere that a person should be able to talk about his mental health abhi kya hota hai ki wo apni bahut sari cheeze kisi ko nahi bata pata dost ko bahut kam log honge jo apne dost ko bhi nahi batayenge ki mere ko anxiety hai mere ko aisa feel ho raha hai they might share few secrets but when it comes to mental health uske paas na dost hai na family hai wo apne aap hi andar andar yeah and that's a stigma which we need to take out of the society with the collective efforts of all uh, the healthcare industry also has a role to play in it the social you know influencers they also have a role to play in it the government definitely has a role to play in it the healthcare professionals the doctors also need to uh, i mean in whatever capacity they can you know by making patient more comfortable that if they want to talk about it especially you know certain things if the patient has gone through it i don't know uh, some protocol mci may add ki if a person has gone through this is this or if the person is having a chronic medical illness you should have a checklist or a criteria to ask person about these things to the patient because the patient in indian scenario wo ek to doctor ke paas jaane se waise hi bahut ghabrata hai kai baar because wo doctor padha likha hai itne saalon ka aur uh, you know if you go to a doctor as a uh, not that well read person a lot of patients also they hesitate to talk to doctors about their actual effect to ye to ek um, you know if we are talking about anxiety and depression ye to ek co effect hai वो एक्चुअल इफेक्ट को भी खुल के बताने में डरता है सो मे बी एम सी आई और यू नो द गवर्नमेंट गवर्निंग बॉडी ऑफ द डॉक्टर दे कुड मे बी हैव सम ड्राफ्ट रूल्स और ट्राई इट आउट एज ए एक्सपेरिमेंट आई मीन कि हाउ वी कैन एज अ सोसाइटी ओवरऑल कंट्रीब्यूट टू बेटर हेल्थ मेंटल हेल्थ ऑफ ऑल द इंडियंस राइट राइट लाइक वी डिस्कस लाइक इंडिया इज अ फेयरली यंग कंट्री लाइक people majorly uh, this the youths that we have in india i think when when somebody is going through a medical uh, health concern they also associate it with their you know uprise on the ladder or with anything that is going in their life for that matter so that mm-hmm. connectivity with a fol- following concern might also scar them for life like if you are if you are doing well and there's a mental health condition you would feel i'm doing well that is why i have this 
if you're in yeah. a very you know healthy relationship and still you feel burdened or mentally ill you might associate that relationship with it so a human's mm-hmm. normal capacity of processing emotions also declines his quality of life declines uh, due to you know all of these things i think it it highly impacts how you lead your life how you look at outputs and all of that which also makes people more scared about being uh, you know social that is why every second person is saying like i'm an introvert because they don't want to put themselves at that risk yeah yeah so it was a good talk i think we uh, we understood a lot about uh, you know how we can navigate these challenges uh, in the in the mental health segment any closing remarks for our audience uh just one that you know whatever we talk it i mean it wasn't a very well planned uh, this thing but a lot of thoughts yeah. came into my mind you know as we spoke about it so it uh has you know stimulated myself also that all of us as a society needs to make more awareness about anxiety and depression and remove the stigma around it so that we can talk about it openly to the healthcare professionals maybe if you talk about it to you know your friends he or she might not be able to help you because they don't know how to treat it or how you might be feeling they might teach you as a friend kai bar gaali dekhe bhi kai bar pyar se bhi ya kai bar emotionally karke bhi but reaching out to the people who matter to the healthcare professionals and expressing might help so i think uh, is talk ne mujhe bhi ek thoda sa motivate kiya to you know to see around me to talk to people to make them comfortable that if they are feeling something related to their you know mental health they should talk about it to the concerned person to the uh, you know healthcare professional about it absolutely right I think it was wonderful having you here. Thank you so much yes. for your time. Thank you so much, Amangi. Yeah. Wonderful time. Have a good day.